Have you ever pondered the paradox that the less you share your goals, the more likely you are to achieve them? Now that's a thought to chew on, isn't it? It's a strange concept, keeping your aspirations to yourself, like hoarding precious jewels in a hidden treasure chest. But there's a psychological phenomenon at play here, known as substitution. You see, when we talk about our goals, our minds start to celebrate a little early. We get a dose of that sweet satisfaction, that sense of achievement, before we've even begun to climb the mountain. The premature celebration can trick our minds into thinking we've already reached the summit. It's like running a race in your head and feeling the thrill of the finish line even before you've laced up your shoes. So, let's dive deeper into the world of silent achievers and examine how they have harnessed the power of silence to reach their goals. The world of success is filled with silent achievers, individuals who achieved greatness without shouting their intentions from the rooftops. Consider the enchanting world of Harry Potter, a universe that captivated millions and transformed J.K. Rowling into one of the most successful authors of our time. But before the fame and the fortune, there was silence. Rowling quietly penned the first Harry Potter novel in cafes, while her baby daughter slept beside her. She didn't share her grand vision with the world, didn't seek validation for her ideas. Instead, she poured her heart into her work and let her actions speak for themselves. Or let's reflect on the revolutionary iPhone, a device that changed the way we communicate and interact with the world. Steve Jobs, the mastermind behind Apple, didn't broadcast his intentions to create this game-changing technology. He didn't make grand declarations about his plans. Instead, Jobs and his team quietly labored away, letting the impact of their innovation resonate louder than any words could. What these stories underline is a common thread of silent achievement. These individuals didn't just dream, they did. They didn't just talk, they acted. They understood that to achieve their goals, they needed to focus on the work, not on broadcasting their intentions to the world. The power of silent achievers lies in their ability to channel their energy into action rather than words. They understand that the path to success is paved with hard work, dedication and relentless pursuit of their goals. They don't need the world to know their plans, they need the world to see their results. These silent achievers they knew, they knew the importance of keeping their goals close to their chest, of letting their actions do the talking. They knew that the roar of success is louder when it comes as a surprise, when it's the result of silent dedication and unyielding perseverance. So remember the next time you're tempted to share your grand plans, think of these silent achievers. Think of Rowling, think of Jobs, and remember their path to greatness. These silent achievers knew the importance of action over proclamation, of doing rather than saying. The silent achievers approach is not just anecdotal, but it's also backed by science. Let's delve into the empirical world for a moment. The idea of keeping our goals to ourselves is not just some whimsical notion. It's a concept that has been scrutinized, tested and validated by academia. A significant study in this area was conducted by New York University psychologist Peter Golwitzer. He and his team embarked on a mission to understand the psychological implications of sharing our goals. They conducted several experiments involving hundreds of individuals and what they discovered was fascinating. When we publicly announce our goals, our minds experience a premature sense of accomplishment. It's as if our brains are tricked into believing that we've already achieved what we set out to do. This sensation of early success can actually diminish our motivation to work towards our objective. It's a psychological phenomenon that Golwitzer termed social reality. Imagine you're planning to run a marathon. You've bought the running shoes, you've marked the date on your calendar, and then you tell everyone about it. Your friends congratulate you, and you're showered with praise for your ambition. Suddenly, you feel like you've already crossed the finish line. The applause and recognition create a satisfying emotional reward, tricking your brain into feeling like the job is done. Now, when it's time to train, your motivation isn't as high, because in your mind you've already tasted success. This doesn't mean that all public declarations of intent are harmful. It's all about the balance. If we're on a journey to lose weight, for instance, telling a close friend might provide accountability and support. 
But broadcasting it to the world might give us a premature sense of accomplishment, reducing our drive to strive. In essence, our brains are wired to respond to social recognition. When we share our goals, we feel a sense of achievement that can potentially undermine our efforts to realize those goals. So, you see, there's a scientific reason why these silent achievers were onto something. Now that we understand the power of silence, how do we apply it to our own goal setting? Let's delve into the art of silent goal setting. The first step is to write your goals down. The act of writing etches them into your subconscious, providing the clarity and focus you need to achieve them. And remember, these goals are for your eyes only. Next, shift your focus to actions rather than words. Talk is cheap. Actions, on the other hand, are gold. They're the currency of progress. When you're tempted to share your goals, channel that energy into taking steps towards them instead. Finally, honor your achievements privately. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small, in your own personal space. This nurtures a sense of self-validation, making you less reliant on external approval. So let's cultivate the habit of silent goal setting. It's a subtle art, but one with profound implications. Remember, the goal is to act, not to speak. In a world where sharing is the norm, silence can be a powerful tool. We've journeyed through the incredible power that silence holds. We've seen how the silent achievers have made their mark, not by broadcasting their ambitions, but by letting their accomplishments speak for themselves. We've delved into the science that supports this concept, illustrating how keeping your goals to yourself can actually increase the probability of achieving them. The mind is a fascinating entity, isn't it? It's all about creating that psychological satisfaction of completion, even before the real work begins. We also explored the art of silent goal setting. Remember, it's not about secrecy, but rather about harnessing the power of internal motivation and focus. It's about keeping your eye on the prize and letting your actions, not your words, pave the way. So next time you set a goal, remember the power of silence and let your actions do the talking.